Welcome to the ITU studio. We are in the World Telecommunications Development Conference in Kigali, in Rwanda. Here in our studio, we have the privilege to welcome Mr. Davis Roos, the Deputy Head Digital Development Germany Agents for International Cooperation, GIZ. Welcome, Mr. David Roos. Thank you. What role plays the digital infrastructure and digital public goods for sustainable development? We think are crucial. We see it's a pivotal moment in the history of digital development. The pandemic laid bare the stark contrast between countries with weak digital infrastructures and those with robust, interoperable digital systems. While the richest countries in the world might be able to afford the continuous reinvention of the wheel, partner countries shouldn't. This is why digital public goods can play an essential role when applied to the standard of the UN. It makes them open source, secure, human-centered and adoptable for developing countries. Well, would you be able to elaborate more what GovState means, what it offers to the digital ecosystem and developing countries especially? Yes, the GovStake initiative is a multi-stakeholder partnership. It's been founded by Germany, Estonia, the International Telecommunication Union, ITU, and the Digital Impact Alliance, DIAL, housed under the UN Foundation. The approach is quite simple. It will assist partner countries to build their own digital public infrastructure by adopting reusable, standard-based, interoperable build building blocks. Um, it starts with more than 70 experts that gather the technical specifications for the most critical building blocks like ID, payments, security, data exchange, registries, so on and so forth. And then we facilitate a political dialogue on a CIO level because one says technology seldom is the only problem but governance is. We think it's both so we want to tackle this from, from both angles. Building a bridge between the two components will be a model government platform to make it easy to learn by doing, to bring on own use cases, to create own, to create and pilot own online services for partner countries to make the right decisions for their own digital government transformation journey. Thank you. Would you be able to elaborate more on cooperation between Germany and Ukraine in terms of digital development? Yes, Ukraine had an ambitious vision to become one of the world's leaders in digital government. Today we can all learn how crucial and critical their digital public infrastructure is to the resilience of the country. It is the digital public infrastructure that not only helps them still delivering services online, but this will also help the country to recover and reconstruct after the war in a sustainable and inclusive manner. Ukraine laid down the groundwork for this digital public infrastructure in less than three years. They adopted the Estonian data exchange layer X road, the, um, the payments layer as an open source building block Open G2P with the assistance of UNDP, and they launched the DIA app, which makes it, um, which make it open for 17 million users to access online services through the app and get access to their most critical um, official documents. And this is how, as an immediate response, the German federal government, the Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, commissions GIZ to assist the Ukrainian government in digital development activities. Therefore, the GovStick Initiative and a GAZ project, Innovation Ecosystem for Reconstruction, cooperate with the Ministry for Digital Transformation. Thank you very much. Thank you.